the Western Michigan Broncos. Coached by Tim Lester and went 4-2 and two last year. They are a fun team. Quarterback Caleb Ellaby is an absolute star. I think he they're good, too. awesome, yes. Leads one of the country's most exciting offenses. Ton of experienced talent coming back. Their win total is at 5.5. Uh, the juice to the over is minus 105. The juice to the under is 125. And both SP Plus and FPI have them projected to go 6-6 six and six this year. Uh, I, I tend to like that. I do, um, too. You know, their returning production, number 27 in the country, 85% of their production is coming back this year. Uh, defense is just as bad as the offense is good, which makes for a ton of fun games. Outside of Akron, uh, Western Michigan's other five games averaged a score of 38.4 to 38.4, which is pretty unheard insane. of. Yeah. <laughs> pretty insane. I started uh, doing the math. I was like, even, there's no way. An even point differential. Yes. Uh, tons of super seniors, tons of returning production. Tough non-con schedule this schedule, year. Yeah, schedule has a lot of toss-ups. Um, at Michigan, at Pittsburgh, San Jose State. Now, they get San Jose State at home. That's going to be but, an interesting game. And then Illinois State, who has been pretty good in uh, in the FCS. Yeah. But I do think Western Michigan, like, they are projected they, they are projected to uh, or be favorites in six games. Six games. So, five and a half is the win total, and I think they're going to go over it. I think they're going to be able to score on a bunch of these teams. They, they got Akron. They got at Northern Illinois. They got Illinois State. Uh, at Buffalo, you know, Kent State, that's kind of a toss-up. Central Michigan, toss-up. Like, I, I, I like this. I, I, think they can, I think they can get to bowl eligibility. Yeah. And Tim Lester's a Memphis guy, so. No, that, <laughs> no I know. That, that was, I, was, I was wondering if we were going to bring that up. Um. I'm probably going to go over with you. This one scares me. That's it, this one's a lot of a homer pick, though. This conference is because I think they can. So I ridiculous. think they can beat each other up. To, yeah. to say that I think that I know who's good and who's not, I think there's a couple of teams I think are good, and there's a couple of teams who I'm positive are bad. Everything in the middle, those teams could be great or a train wreck. Yes, yes, I agree, a hundred percent. 100%. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.